we started a business with 20,000 rand. That's it. That we borrowed. Andrew's mom gave us a set of parts. My mom gave us some money. And we started a business with, with nothing. You know? And so there are no rules for us. We, we can do whatever we like as long as we respect our customers and we respect what something fresh is. That it's fun, it's creative, it's out there, it's, it's something fresh. My name is Ezran Lowe. I'm the co-owner and co-founder of Something Fresh, a gourmet street food company. We do street food in a food truck, we do street food in our restaurant, we do street food at festivals, we do street food for corporate clients, for private clients. So we're just about giving people great experiences through amazing food and that's essentially Something Fresh in a nutshell. A Something Fresh meal is there's two things, two ways to look at it. You know, we, we, use, we use the best chicken, we use vegetables that we source every morning at the fresh produce market. You know, we speak directly to farmers to get our flowers, our watermelons and all of that. So, and we also bring uh, innovative things like we, brought, uh, we bring bao buns from Taiwan, we make them as well. You know, so there's a lot of freshness that goes into it. But what makes our meals so amazing and so fantastic is actually it's, it's, it's a union of mine and Andrew's personalities. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm all about sauciness, deliciousness, you know. I like things dripping down my hands when I eat. And Andrew's all about, you know, this is, this food must be plated and strictness. And so he uses that old um, chef training that he has. And then we just mash that together and boom, magic on a plate or magic in a bamboo boat. You know, any which way you want it. What makes us stand out and what makes something fresh what it is, is, is fun. We must have fun, we must have a good time. The staff must have a good time. The customers must have a good time. We must have a good time. And it translates in our food. It translates in when we at the market and the guys are like, can I get a bump the cheese up? Bump the cheese up also keeps the guys motivated, gets the clients interested. And it just becomes this whole, it's, it, everybody feeds off everybody. So the clients, the customers are happy. The, the staff is happy because they're getting happy customers. I'm happy because the toll's filling up. You know, so it's, it's all, it's a give-take relationship both ways between us and our clients and our customers. My hopes and my dreams for Something Fish is that every South African can have a taste of Something Fish. You know, every South African can have this much fun, you know. I'd like, I'd like a Something Fish on every corner, street corner, people buying our food, eating our food, experiencing us. I would love us to be the next great South African export. Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on who you want to be. You can be anything you want to be. We've taken deep fried chicken and made it one of the best meals in the world. You know, two guys from the hood who met in a taxi. You know, people are out, hey, you guys are amazing. You guys are great. We're normal guys. We guys, we drink beer. We chill out. We talk, uh, we, we talk to each other like boys. And the thing that has brought us this far is, is not how amazing the food is. It's, it's not how we've structured everything. It's because we never give up. We just don't give up on this business. This business is going to the stars, the moon, UK, London, here we come, US, here we come, you know? And we ain't giving up on that. So don't give up on yourself, ever. Why